Hey, what's up guys? This is Alex from Apri.io and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create your personal online store integrated with Shopify using Apri.io template. I would like to start by emphasizing that this template is for Shopify store owners. If you already have a Shopify online store or thinking about creating one, that's what you should start with. The first thing you'll see once you open the visual editor is the start page. Here you can see a message saying that before you can start using or customizing this application, you should first link it to the Shopify store. You can do that by expanding the services tab and clicking on the settings. And here you can see two parameters, store URL and storefront access token. For the store to work with our template, please insert the parameters of your Shopify store in these two fields. To learn where you can find these parameters on the Shopify site, please check the documentation in the description. Once you've inserted these values, you can click test and see how your store will look like on the mobile device. The first screen you'll see is the home page, where you can see the banner that works as a slider with the images and best-selling products section. At the top, you can see a left panel icon. You can either tap it or just swipe left. There is also a search icon that would lead to a search page, where the user can find any needed product. And also a shopping cart, which is currently empty. As you can see from here, you can either sign in or go to a catalog right away. Let's start with the login page. You can get here either from the cart page or using the left panel. If you are already registered through the Shopify store, you can insert your login and password to sign in. If you don't, you can tap the sign up button and register. There's also the forgot password option if you want to restore a forgotten password. Now if you tap the catalog, a list of store collections will be shown. Let's select one of the options. The items from the corresponding collection will be displayed. And in this view, you can apply a filter like Featured, Best Selling, By Price, and others. The product card consists of its name, vendor, price, and images. If the product has multiple images, you can swipe right and left to view them. If you tap on the card, the detailed view of the product will open. Once again, name, vendor, price, and images, but also its description and options. The description is self-explanatory, but the options are basically your product properties. So, to add the product to the cart, you would need to select every option. If you fail to do that, you will receive a notification saying that the product options should be selected before you can add a product to the cart. Once every option is selected, the quantity selection becomes available so that you can select multiple items of this product to be added to the cart. Now let's move on to the cart itself. From here you can also modify the quantity, and the price will be adjusted correspondingly. You can also delete this product from the cart. If you are ready to place the order, tap the related button to proceed to checkout, then fill in all the required information to be redirected to the Shopify page. And that's it for the online store application, but now let's go back to the visual editor and review how you can customize the application. On the left side, you can see the project tab that includes multiple folders. Opening the pages folder will allow you to customize each page individually. The first thing you might want to do is change text. Not only you can change the name of the application, but also you can change any text in the template. To do so, click on the text that you want to change and navigate to the right panel. Here you can find the text section in which you can set any needed text. The second thing you might want to change is the banner image. Let's do it right now. First, expand the Custom Components folder and select Banner. Here you can see four images that are currently being used for the banner and all of which can be easily replaced by some images of your choice. To proceed, click on the needed image and navigate to the right panel, Properties. Click the Change button for the image property. And select one of the available images or click Upload Image to upload your own image. Finally, select it and click Apply. Any other images can be changed in the same way. Not only you can change the existing banner images, but you can also add another one. For that, select the banner, click on the gear icon, and click Clone. And now you're free to customize it the same way as the existing ones.
Another cool feature of the banner is that you can easily define the app page or even some external link to make this banner lead to it. Currently each banner leads to a different location. The first one leads to the catalog, the second one to some specific catalog category, the third one shows the specific product card and the fourth one redirects to an external link. In order to change the banner path, select the needed image and then navigate to its properties panel. As you can see, this one leads to the catalog, but if you want it to lead to some other app page, type the needed value for the navigate to attribute. To find the proper route name or path, you can check the routing page. Similarly, you can modify the external link attribute. Just enter the needed page link, and a tap on the corresponding banner will lead to this page. Let's click test and check how it works. The next thing you can change is the colors of the application. You can change the color of each element individually, but there's also a better way to change template's colors. Each template has its unique design. It also has themes. Over here you can see a theme dropdown. Selecting one of the options from the dropdown will allow you to see how this specific page will look like under a different theme. To apply the theme to the entire application, expand the project folder, select App Settings, and then select the needed theme from the dropdown. Now let's click Test and see how the application looks like with newly applied changes. The last thing you might want to do is to export your application to be published on the Google Play or App Store or try it on your device. In Apri, this can be done through the Export feature where you can select either Android or an iOS format, or both if you need. But before you can proceed with exporting your app, go to Project View, Project, App Settings, Android Binary or iOS Binary. We are going to build for iOS now, so let's open the iOS Binary tab and select the Release Build type. As you can see, Debug is set as the default type, but can be used for testing purposes only. Now to create the iOS binary bundle, click the export arrow and select the binary link to start the build. As you can see, the application started building the IPA. Please note that for the successful app export, you need to first import the certificates. Here in the app settings, iOS binary, in distribution certificate and provisioning profile section. Once your project is generated, you will see the QR code that you can use to easily upload your application to your device. To learn more about how to export your application, including specifying iOS and Android certificates, please follow the link in the description. And in the end, let's review how this application will look like on a real device. Those were just a few suggestions on how you can customize your template. Apri.io can offer you many more ways to make your app unique. And there is one important message we would like to communicate. You will be the creator and the only owner of your store app, like any other Apri.io created app. For more details, you can check our copyright, trademark, and content ownership section here. Also, if you are interested and would like to learn more about the Apri.io platform and its features, visit our website or find more videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.